first appearing in Uncanny X-Men number 28 from 1967, Banshee's sonic scream could propel him into flight, shatter solid objects, and fire percussive blasts that placed others into trances or knocked them unconscious. After his wife's death, Irish Interpol agent and mutant Sean Cassidy was forced to join Factor 3, an organization of evil mutants. The evil changeling gave him the name Banshee and fitted him with an explosive headband to keep him in line. Professor X used his telepathic powers to remove the band, and Banshee then defeated Factor 3. Later, Banshee joined the X-Men. While there, he reunited with his daughter, Siren, and became co-head of Xavier's Academy, where he taught the young mutants of Generation X. Following the tragic death of his beloved Dr. Moira McTaggart, Banshee suffered a temporary breakdown. He formed X-Corps, but this venture ended with Mystique stabbing him through the throat. Banshee later died at the hands of Vulcan, only to be remade as one of the Apocalypse Twins' new horsemen. After this, he became one of Havoc's X-Men, but was much changed by his deathly experience.